on the Steam Deck launch just four days away. We have a list of games and how they'll run on the Steam Deck. So this is probably one of the most exciting consoles for a while now. And in many ways, I'm more excited about it than the PS5 and Xbox Series X. PS5 is more excited than the Xbox Series X. And the Switch was an exciting system. For the most part, it did deliver with a what, what you know it promised in my eyes and what I wanted. I would have preferred more backwards compatibility with Wii games. That's literally, and they never promised that. So it's in terms of what they promised, it delivered. I mean, it's a shame they haven't, and they've just like sort of remastered some of the titles. Um, but it would have been nice to have backwards compatibility in some capacity. But this is something that may have that. And I've got a separate video covering your Switch and Steam Deck and Yuzu. And I've talked about Ryu Jinx as well in there. But let's talk about verified games. Okay, so there's three categories of, you know, you know, sort of games right now. There's verified games, playable games, and unsupported games. So verified games are exactly what they sound like. Games Valve have officially stated to work on Steam Deck with no issues. I'll provide a link to this as well in the description so you can you know, check this out for yourself. And playable games are ones players have tried out and while they work might have some bugs or small issues associated with them. And finally, unsupported games flat out don't work on the Steam Deck. But that, does, that isn't to say that if the game is in unsupported game list that it may not go to playable or verified and so the playable ones may work just as good as a verified one it's just just not verified by valve yet so there's that as well and just because your game may not be on the list it doesn't mean it won't work or won't work in the future so let's have a look so here is the list and i'm just gonna you know highlight the ones that are standing out to me the two alien games so isolation and fire team elite and we've got bayonetta Another title I'm looking forward to. We already had Bayonetta. Oh, yeah, number two. I'm pretty sure we had on the Switch the first one. I want to say it got remastered. Yes, it, it, it did. It got released on the Switch. So it's not the first time we're getting a portal version, but it is still nice nonetheless. Call of Juarez, Gunslinger, another you know great title. Crash Bandicoot, Ensign Trilogy. And I've already got it on the Switch. PC graphics are better. I, I think these are going to look better as well, so that's good. The The thing that's more excited about it is, is just the fact that I've already got it. I think I've got it part of like a Humble Bundle or some other bundle. So I've already got it as part of my Steam library. So I'm excited about that. Control Ultimate Edition. I can't remember if I have that or not on Steam. I had it. I've got it on PlayStation. I in digital the ultimate edition I know I played it I played a fair bit of it on PC but I did pirate that one wink wink but in terms of having it on Steam I don't know Cuphead so people will enjoy having that and Deathloop as well that's another you know great one Death Stranding that's going to be you know a favorite for a lot of people the two Dishonored games actually Dishonored and Death of the Outsiders, so that's just the first time expansion, not number two. And we've got Doom 2000, old one, not the other Doom games. Unfortunately, this not yet. And what else we got? Evil Within. I know a lot of people will be excited about that. Final Fantasy games. Again, not really didn't have done much for me personally, but I know a lot of people will be excited. God of War. I mean, and that's that, what is it, 2016 or 17 version. Grid as well. That'll be the newer Grid, I'm assuming. Hitman 1 and 3, but they not number 2. Okay. Also, we've got a bunch of LEGO games, which is fantastic. I said LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Is that the new one that's coming out, or is that just the uh, nasty? Nah, other one but i feel like the new one will work on it as well so that's another thing just because the game not on there because the game that yeah chances are you'll probably get added to it because if it's a new major title limbo yeah that sort of stuff is to be expected mid left shadow of war i believe that is the what 2017 2018 one i want to say 2017 i played the 2014 i think it was or 2013 one the first one I've been meaning to get around to this. I've got it on Steam. I've got it on, you know, my PS Plus as well. So I think this might be, a, this is also another thing I'm excited about. Is there's a bunch of games I have not played yet. 
over the last few years that I've just missed. And as I'm playing more games and more games are coming out, it's becoming more and more difficult just for me personally to go back and play those titles. So to have them in a portable mode and to not be restricted to, let's say, Switch version, where ignoring the graphic side, I can only play that on Switch then, whereas with having it on Steam and Steam Deck, I can you know, buy it, I could, or I might already have it, play it on my Steam Deck, but fancy I could hook, hook that up to my big TV, or I could be on my computer here and play it on my monitor as well. So I can have both experiences. So if I fancy playing Middle of Shadow of War, Portable can, I can play the same thing on my computer or docked downstairs when the Steam Deck dock comes out. So that's another thing I'm looking forward to. Also, the fact is some of the games, the graphics might obviously aren't as good as some of the newer games. And Shadow War is still pretty good, though, to be fair, graphically. But if they're not, because it's on a smaller screen, that sort of negates that negative side of it. Okay, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, that's a big one. No Man's Sky is not here, but it is meant to be working for it. Okay, I can ask for Switch, sorry. So, <laughs> game mix up. Portal 2, big one that I'm excited for. That's to be expected, it's Valve. And I'm pr I haven't seen Half Life on here, but you think Half Life's not gonna work on here? Hell no! That is gonna work, and people are gonna want that to work if it doesn't. So, Portal 1 will also work, I'm sure it will. I'm sure Team Fortress will work as well. So those are some other good games, ready games. You know, a lot of people excited about that. Rise Son of Rome, that's a major title, graphically speaking. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, I haven't played it yet. And that could be one I end up playing portable mode. And that's another thing, I might, like, there might be situations where I'm somewhere or chilling with family or something. And it's just, I mean, a casual setting, I can just play that. I don't want to be setting up my computer or my console to play it on a big TV. I just want to sit in the corner on a sofa and play half an hour of that. I can do that now. It's a much, you know, more doable thing. <sighs> Super hot. I have, I played the VR. I haven't played the non-VR version. So it's another great way of playing this. Play Super Meat Boy. Have not played forever. So another great way of playing it. Chaos Theory. I mean, that's an old one. But, I mean, I'm happy to play that again. And whilst we got the Yakuza games, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Is that the one that I think it is? Nah. I think you have a different one. And these are the playable ones. So these are, you know, not verifiable playable. So Black Flag. That was a decent Assassin's Creed. Got some Battlefields. Might play Battlefield 4 again, maybe. I'm not really that excited about them. I'll probably check out the old Battlefield, like Battlefield 2, 2142, and 1942, just in sort of, what's it called? Oh, what's the mode called where you just play against AI bots? Skirmish mode. So I might play on that. Dark Souls Remastered, you know, Devil May Cry, and Grim Fandango there. No, but GTA 5 is on the playable section. That is, ooh, fantastic. And what else we got? I haven't played this Lego game, Pirates of Caribbean. Something to check out then. And Need for Speed, Heat. I wouldn't mind playing that again. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition. That would be pretty cool to play. Battlefront, oh, the classic, the number two. Fallen Order, Portable. That's going to be badass. And the Old Republic. You know, I, I mean, I used to play Old Republic back in the day. Then I got back into it a few years ago. And they literally just announced there's going to be some more DLC. If we go on, they literally announced that there was going to be a new DLC and then they had a new CGI you know, movie for it, which could see, which looked fantastic as always. And yeah, so I'll, it's just a, I, I'm going to get back into the Old Republic because of this system. And Titan 4 2, already played it, but I wouldn't mind playing it again. Some of these old classic Tomb Raiders. Hell yeah. And unsupported games. Okay, so what on here, what do I want to play that I can't right now? Mm. I usually play it on PlayStation if I want to. Halo Master Chief Collection, that's a letdown right now. Gears maybe, but definitely Halo 1. But I think that will get fixed. 
Just Cause 2, I was disappointed. I wouldn't mind playing Just Cause 1. The 360 version always looked better than Just Cause 1. I mean, on PCs, flipped like that. Uh, I remember playing Side 2, not fussed about that though. Siege, not fussed about that. I've already played Watch Dogs 2, honestly. Uh, none of these are really bothering me too much. So I'm happy with it so far. So yeah, that's the sort of verified, playable and unsupported list for the Steam Deck. There's four days to go till the launch and I'm really excited for it. Shame I won't be getting mine till Q2. Q2 is anywhere, anytime in April, May, June. So I'm hoping it's the former April. Hopefully it's not May or June, but we'll see. As soon as I get it, I'll be creating videos and doing tests on different you know, games, benchmarks, etc. And just, just different stuff. Let me know what you would like to see. If you have any questions, feel free to, or you just want to discuss Steam Deck, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it, be honest. And hit the subscribe button. See you soon. Bye-bye.